welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's video which is our master bedroom overhaul. So this is a really fun video to make because I have been wanting to do this for so long. We've lived in this house for over a year now and even though we'd painted the bedroom white when we moved in and got new bedding, the room was fine but it wasn't quite what I was wanting it to be and I feel like at a time when we had so many jobs to do in the house we couldn't really justify spending that additional money on a room that was already okay. The room at the start was nice pieces of furniture in a white room and that was it and I feel like just something didn't flow about the bedroom so I just decided to do a few things to enhance the room, make it feel more cosy and warm. Even though we're south facing, we've got two windows in our bedroom. There was just this kind of like cold feel about it and it was a bit soulless. There was no character. I really like minimalist stuff. So I'm not meaning that I wanted like this like really warm jazzy bedroom. I want a minimalist light and airy bedroom, but I want it to feel homely and I want it to feel put together and it just didn't feel put together at all. So this is my video on completing our master bedroom. I bought a few pieces of furniture, bought some paint and some accessories and also I'm working with Junique in this video so they gifted me this print behind me so I will discuss that at some stage of the video as well and I'm just going to talk you through the kind of DIY bits I did and the furniture I bought and I really hope you enjoy it so consider this like the official room tour of our bedroom because I've never actually done one. I hope you enjoy the video! Freddie is actually just polyfilling in this area here that we had filled about eight months ago and we've just left like this. It was a useless little alcove that was off centre of the blocked up chimney breast. So that had to go. We're going to fill it in and then we're going to paint it. He's now just moved on to filling all these teeny tiny gaps and then I will give these window frames a good paint and then we'll be painting the rest of the room. We're going with Farrow and Ball shaded white which is like a bit darker than just normal pure brilliant white which That's I just think <laughs> Freddie thinks it's a pointless paint job but I have this vision and it's gonna be right I really hope because it was 82 pounds for the tin of paint to paint it an ever so slightly different shade of white so here is hoping that it really really does have a Y factor so other things that we want to do in the room I need to make this print a bit bigger so we're changing it up I'm still using a unique one but just a different one more abstract and we're also going to get a plant pot for this plant that's just in a plastic container the room just feels so soulless right now and it's a complete mess. We have a nice light shade, we have a nice print, we have a nice duvet cover, but for some reason it just doesn't all work and I think I just need to add a bigger picture here that's just too small. Matching bedside tables. I've got a few ideas and I've placed a few orders on West Elm, La Regie, H&M Home, Barrow and Ball and got some prints from Junique and I'm just hoping that doing this and buying a few more accessories and putting a rug down, it will just make it feel more warm and bedroomy. I have made my first ever mood board and I think it's an amazing way to kind of gather your ideas for a room overhaul. I've narrowed it down to two mood boards with slightly different stuff in each. Uh, a few overlapping things that I'm absolutely certain on, but I'm going to share them now on the screen and show you just the differences in them. Here are my two mood boards. Very subtle differences. It's the bedside table, the dressing table stools and the rugs that are different. I am so terrible at making decisions, so it's just made it quite easy for me. I've pulled together stuff, furniture, bedding that I already have, and then I've pulled in the paint I'm buying and the cushions I'm buying, the lighting, everything. And then I've just got a few final decisions to make on those three pieces. It's 
looking so good. It's definitely darker, even though this is really exposed right now because it's really sunny. It's definitely darker than what I thought it was gonna be, but I absolutely love it. And one of the reasons I love it the most is because our bed head pretty much just blends into the color of the wall. And when we first had this bed in this bedroom with the really white wall, this just popped way too much. The weave isn't very nice on it, I'm not a fan. And I was actually going to order a linen bed head cover, but now I don't even need to spend the 100 pounds because I think it just blends so nicely. So I'm just about to put all this furniture back and then start accessorizing the room, which is obviously the most exciting part. So today we're making the dressing table and stool. I have just sanded down these planks of wood that Freddie cut to size. So simple, you need literally five bits of wood. So you've got the base and then you've got the two bits that are gonna be nailed together as the top. And then you've got the battens on the side which will hold up the top. So it'll go like that. Now I'm gonna prime it and paint it black. And then when the legs arrive, we'll nail it to the legs. Okay, so today's project is going to be upcycle this little stool for my bedroom because the one I wanted to order from La Redoute was on a wait list. So I'm gonna try and recreate the La Redoute one. So this is an Ikea stool, it was nine pounds. I got it like three years ago. I don't think they sell it anymore, but I'm gonna link one that they do sell. I'm also gonna do a blog post on how I've done this. So I probably won't film all of it, but um, basically I'm gonna sand the top and then I'm gonna put this stuff on. This is gonna be the edging, this bit of rubber, and I'm gonna paint the legs black with my fence paint, which is still going strong, seeing as my other paint never arrived for this. So we are just about to hang the lights, which I've spray painted black. We have marked on the wall where we want them. It's great because the raw plugs actually come with the light fixtures as well as the screws and the screws are black so they will blend in very nicely. Then make sure it's even. Finally got the right size bulbs, not miniature. These feel so fragile. Plug it in. It's Yay. looking good. You have nice. Okay, so this is the finished look and I'm so pleased with it. My vision has come to life and I am gonna take you through a tour of everything we have done. So firstly, we have painted the walls and we used Farrow and Ball shaded white in the matte emulsion and I will link all of the things I talk about below. So that is linked below. And the color has come out really nice. When we first started painting on, I realized it was a lot darker than I expected. And I think that once it was finally all on every wall and you couldn't see any white walls, it's now kind of blended more into the background than what it was originally doing. But it's like a beautiful, grazy, putty, creamy colour, but it's not too warm, but it's not too cold, and it's not too dark. I think it's just right. And also, it was the first time I've ever used Farrow and Wall paint on walls and loved the quality of it as well, so... Yeah, happy with that. I'm gonna take you to the dressing table station. So I'm so proud of this. I built this myself. So, okay, the legs are Ikea and it was just like one frame. It's actually it's desk legs, but I've obviously used it for the dresser, which I built out of just wooden planks that I cut to size. And then the top two planks are repurposed floorboards from my next door neighbor's garden. She was throwing them away. So I took them and repurposed them. And then I painted it all black with Valspar shade Nevermore. And I did that in the wood paint. 
So it's come up real nice, sanded it, primed it, and then painted it. I also upcycled this little stool here. I'd actually ordered from La Redoute a stool like this with the cane webbing and the black trim, and they said it was gonna be an eight week wait, and I'm too impatient. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do it myself. So I ordered the cane webbing off Etsy. This is a rubber piece of material from eBay, which was about three pounds, and then I painted the legs the same color as the Valspar. Never more that I painted the rest of the desk and it's come up so nice and I think it cost me about £30 to do and considering the store I'd ordered was 100 I think I saved myself a pretty penny there and there is a blog post on that linked below so the whole DIY tutorial on how I did that so if you want to do your own then go ahead and read. And so this station here, I'm so happy that I have a dressing table that is slim enough to work with this space but also houses all my makeup all my perfume and all my jewellery. So it's like an all-in-one, I love it. So the mirror is Ikea, I've had this for years. It's the Stockholm range and it's the larger of the two mirrors. I think it's about 70 pounds and yeah, it's done a job. This is a tray from H&M Home. So all the jewellery that I wear kind of like every day is just out here and then my more like costume stuff or like occasion stuff is put away because I don't need it all displayed. This is also an H&M Home little trinket tray as well, rings and things. Um, the rug is from La Redoute and I got it on 30% off. They always do such amazing sales. I love it. Do you know what? Because it's like a new carpet, it's given the room this like new carpet smell and it's the softest thing ever. Waking up in the morning and putting your feet on this is the first thing you feel is nice. Over to the bedside tables. So these bedside tables I got from West Elm, once again I got them on offer and I can't believe it, I've had my eye on them for months and they're half price at the moment. They've got loads of storage, so two drawers on each side, we've obviously both got matching. The quality, as usual from West Elm, is amazing, it's solid, solid wood and then it's got these beautiful black legs which I just love that kind of industrial detail with the soft wood. I think it complements it so nicely. In keeping with that like industrial theme, we've gone for these lights. Now, we are not good at electrics and obviously can't get an electrician out at the moment, so we weren't gonna change the electrics in the wall. So these are actually like plug-in lights here and we've just drilled them to the wall, which is really good because obviously when you kind of start changing light, fixtures it can get quite expensive but these are 20 pounds from Wayfair and we obviously drilled them ourselves. The bulbs are porcelain Tala bulbs, I got them on Heels website and I really love the porcelain finish because it gives off a really soft lighting. I realised that they're not the cheapest light bulbs but they are on display so for me it was quite important that actually we got the right ones. This little print is from Junique and I just love the simplicity of it with that frame that I got from Ikea. This is a little vase from H&M Home, fresh eucalyptus cut from the garden. And then my bookend is West Elm. My tray is also West Elm. Do you know what? The beauty of having a tray on your bedside table. So I'm obviously very precious about what goes on my new bedside tables. So having a tray to place your mug, your glass of water, your cafetiere in the morning has been a real saviour because I've already spilled it a couple of times. Also, my candle is White Company Vine Tomato and if you've not smelt it, it is the best scent in the world. Oh, jo Malone do one called Green Tomato and H&M Home do a tomato one as well and if I could like sum up this room's vibe in a scent, it would be this. It's like fresh, clean, light and green and oh it smells so good. It's actually been discontinued as well which is the saddest thing ever so I'm gonna have to go on to the Jo Malone one soon. Bedding is West Elm so we had this already. I got this probably about a year and a half ago and I'd once again have my eye on it for ages and finally bought it. I think this is one of the best purchases I've ever made interior wise because I love white bedding and I love clean, fresh, crisp bedding but I hate ironing my sheets and this, because of this texture, you just don't have to iron it. It's also organic cotton and it's super soft and I just love the detail of it but the simplicity of it, it just works so nicely. Then these cream linen pillows on the large pillowcases, they're La Redoute and um, I got them recently, so that was part of the kind of overhaul. 
and then over here we have my lovely new artwork from Junique Art Shop. It took me quite a while to actually pick a print for the room because beforehand I had the Rise and Shine print which is also Junique and I absolutely loved but it didn't fit the room properly and it just made the white wall look really really big and the print so small. I just thought if I wanted a larger print text isn't going to work so I went for a more abstract print and I absolutely love this so much because I love this dark green colour and then you've obviously got the lighter blue and then you've got a bit of warmth from the gold here. So I think it complements the neutral tones really well but also bringing a bit of green back in, obviously the green in my plants and I've got a few green accessories in the room. So whilst I wanted an all over minimalist look, green was like my pop of colour. So this is absolutely perfect. Another thing I love about Unique is that they will frame any print for you. All of their artwork comes in any size you like from really tiny 5x7 right through to ginormous. This is the 60x90 and it's just obviously a bit larger now I've had it mounted and framed. The quality of the frames is absolutely incredible and obviously because they come framed already then you can hang them up immediately. What I really love is that they're sturdy. This one's quite heavy because it's the wood one and it actually comes with the hanging mechanism already attached so you can just hang and go. However, this print is actually a portrait but we've hung it landscape just because it fitted the room better so we've done our own thing with hanging it. But if you are going to hang it the way it's advertised and sold then you're good to go. So that's something I absolutely love about them. I also love how minimalist and abstract this print is, um, also like the two others that I've got in the room. Although they also do so many different kinds of prints. I've got text prints from them, they've got photographs. They work with loads of different artists, so like there is something for everyone on that website. And I think they're really good value and the quality is the best. Another thing about Janique that I love is when they do promos and discounts, the frames are discounted as well, which isn't always the case on print websites. They've actually given me a 25% off code as well. Feel free to check it out, I've linked it below. And you can get 25% off your prints and frames as well, which is awesome. So yeah, it's really nice of them. They actually gifted me this print, so I'm very grateful for that. And I absolutely love it. Um, and I love the brand as well. So they're a really, really lovely brand. They, Like I said, they work with lots of different artists and they've got a really good environmental policy as well. So you can read all about that as well below. And then over here is Freddie's bedside table. So same as mine, obviously. I'd say the only details that are different are he's got the H&M bookend, which I love. It's marble and then it's got a brass ball on it and it's just so chic. And on the other side, he's got a salt lamp, which I got for his birthday. And obviously the kind of health benefits from salt lamps are great. And also it just gives off a, such a nice, warm, glowy light. Our plant, our little monstera plant, well, she's not so little anymore, we got from Ikea. Um, this was £15 two years ago and it doesn't stop growing. We've had to prune it twice so we've actually successfully propagated two other Monstera plants off it and I'm so proud as a plant mum here because this thing just keeps on living no matter what and I think it looks glorious and I don't know if you can see but the, the plant pot she's in is a metal oatmeal-y grey colour and it's so gorgeous, it's the XL size from H&M Home so obviously I'll link that below as well. Curtains are, we've had these for ages as well, um, Freddie's mum actually made them so I can't link them but I'll link the linen store that we got the fabric from and also West Elm do a very similar version so I'll link their curtains as well. I just love the linen look of them. My request was linen light curtains and Freddie's request was blackout and Freddie's mum successfully managed to do both. Um, so we get obviously the beautiful linen feel but also the lights blocked when we're in bed. Here, this is my Ikea chest of drawers and I got this years ago and unfortunately the Tava dresser is now discontinued but Ikea do lots of raw furniture, so untreated pine, and I always love buying that stuff because it means that you can upcycle it to whatever you want. I actually followed a Pinterest tutorial of this, and I painted the top and sides in a white with wood paint. 
I varnished the front in oak colour and then I got the handles from Anthropology. I did this about three years ago and the handles from Anthropology I could only get in the States at the time so I bid for a Chicago layover when I was cabin crew because there was an Anthropology next to the crew hotel. So I flew all the way to Chicago for my dresser handles and it was worth every moment of that time. <laughs> Um, the plant pot is from West Elm and this is a little Ikea cactus and the print is unique and it's a cactus print so I thought that works quite nicely. And I love the muted tones in the print as well, it kind of goes so nice with the walls. Just the simplicity of this kind of corner of the room. And lastly, my lampshade. So this is H&M Home and I got this about a year ago so I don't know if it's in stock anymore but I have found one that's very similar so I'll link that below but it is like three times the price. Um, I think this was like 60 quid from H&M Home. And do you know what else I just love about this room? Like we had the bedding already and the lampshade, the curtains and the curtain pole. Oh, by the way, the curtain pole is from Wayfair. It was so cheap, it was like 30 quid and it's so simple and beautiful and I love it. But what I was saying before, we had all these things already in the room and I individually I loved the items, but for some reason they just didn't work together. And I now realize that you can't just throw things, nice objects in a room and expect it to work. Like there's like an overall concept of it. And I'm no interior designer, so I know that sounds so pretentious and I am not qualified to even explain that. But I realize now that it's about everything in the room. So like the way that the walls are now painted, I find that all those items just blend so seamlessly together now. Um, I hope that makes sense, but it just works. It just like on, the whole thing just works now and I'm just so happy with it and it's just like such a grown up put together bedroom and yeah I absolutely love it. That was my room tour and I hope you found it interesting. I just tried to be quite explanatory with where I got everything from and if you want any more information on any of those things then just pop a comment in the comment section and I will get back to you and thank you so much for watching my room tour and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!